Hey guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Roxanne. We are backstage in Glasgow today. The home team are on the road with the U's, and Brian joins me now. How are you, man? Dude, I'm doing good. It's been a whirlwind of a couple of days, but I'm I'm we're rolling with it, and it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Well, good to see you over here in the UK for a start, and let's you know kind of kick off with this tour itself. You know, the U's are one of those bands that have inspired generations of bands in this scene. I'm sure you are no exception to that. It's got to be pretty cool to be out here on the road with them, right? It's crazy. I mean, they're definitely the most influential band that we've toured with. Uh, no shade to any of the bands that we've toured with. We, they all know that we love them dearly, but this is this is a big deal for us. Nice. Um, last night we played Manchester, and it was the single biggest show we've ever played in our lives. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, um, and so that's pretty nuts. Amazing. Gotta be really, really nice as well to not just be out here on the road in the UK and with a band you respect so much, like we say, but also with some new music. You know, that single Loud is no joke, man. Like, congrats on that. That is an absolute that. banger, for real. Um, tell me a little bit about putting that one together and an amazing reaction it's had already yeah. just over a couple of days. I'm going to be honest. We were a little nervous about this one because it's it's different. It's like it's I think every band thinks their music, their new music is more different than most people kind of digest it as. Mm. But this one was actually one of the last ones we wrote for this album cycle. All right. Okay. So it, uh, we honestly started writing it in like May of this year. And th by then, most of the songs on this next album had already been done. Right. But it just came together in a way that was so organic that we kind of knew it had to be at least one of the first few. Right. We were like flip flopping on which one's going to be first, second, third. But this one it is a little different. And it's a little different from the rest of the album, too. Um, but honestly, we love it a lot, and we think that it's a direction that we do want to explore more of. Uh, I'm really happy that it's gotten such a good response because it could have flopped. It could have been like, this isn't the energetic thing, stuff that I, uh, we like from you guys, and you know, you never know. Something else to mention about Loud, of course, you've got the boy Skylar Record kind of working in the studio with yeah. you there. Such a good dude. We'll talk about issues in a second as well. Totally. But like, also, I just feel like first time I heard that track, I was like, you guys are picking up where issues left off a little bit there with those uh, those little R&B influences are in there. Yeah. It's nice going into the heavier breakdown and stuff. Got to be a dream to work. I know how hardworking that guy is and what a talent he is. It's Absolutely. so great. He is a dear, dear friend. And we we actually go pretty far back with him because he's from Seattle as well. Yeah, great. Um, and him and our guitarist, John, uh, were almost in a band together. That's right. a whole nother story, but um, <laughs> it's probably for the better that he didn't, that he didn't <laughs> go on that endeavor. But um, but yeah, no, Sky is a huge inspiration for us. He produced our last album, Slow Bloom, as well. Um, he came in a little later on the process for that album. Right. Uh, it was like the last five to 10%, mm -hmm. but we learned so much that it absolutely affected the way that we wrote this next album. And we worked with him on maybe about like, a quarter to half the songs on this next record. Okay, great. Um, and Loud was actually in conjunction with his brother, Ty, yeah. Um And that was a lot of fun too. We just went to their spot in LA and, and jammed. And it was really, really cool because like they bring something to the table that I don't think anybody else in this scene of music can really like manifest in the way that mm. they do. And that's one of the reasons why they inspire us. We love working with people who inspire us. We'd rather work with somebody who's inspiring and like a no name Rather, the verse is like somebody who's a big shot but doesn't really get what we're going for. No, I get that, sure. Um, and like, not to say that Sky and Tyler no names, the Grammy <laughs> award winning Tyler. I get what you're saying, though. I get what you're saying. It has to feel right when you're going to go into collaboration, exactly. isn't it? It's got to be a right fit. Yeah. yeah, no, absolutely. And then let's, of course, mention, you know, the news is out there. You've had a long relationship with Sky, as you say, but now. Take, taking it to the next level for want of a better phrase because issues yeah. those final shows you're going to be hopping on stage with the boys that's yeah. got to be such an honor to be able to do something like it that absolutely is um i am so nervous <laughs> i have no idea uh, i'm i'm practicing my ass off i hope i can say that <laughs> yeah of course you can okay, okay. it's the internet come on you're fine it's rock yeah <laughs> <laughs> um i'm practicing my ass off and i really really hope to do the songs justice because I've been listening to that. Dude, I was that kid in my high school bedroom at my little corner desk when the issues, woe is me beef, like wow. tracks came out. Now on. we're going back. Now on, we're throwing it back. Facebook. I haven't used Facebook in years. I was sitting on Facebook like, oh my God. It, dude, new band issues. Because I had listened to woe is me a bunch yeah. uh, when uh, when the two vocalists, like they were in that band. And dude, it was, it was this crazy. I watched the whole progression as a fan. Yeah. And so, yes, it is. It, it it's I'm still wrapping my hand around it. Yeah, uh, it's a big honor and I'm very, very grateful. I'm nervous, but I know I'm going to do it a good job only because 
I will not allow myself to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> extra rehearsing, extra rehearsing. No, that's true. Any particular tracks of theirs that you're like, oh, that's the one I can't wait to bust out in the set? A lot of the singles from the old days, yeah. um, just because of how, like, I mean, I could sing, I could sing Mad at Myself front to back five years ago. Right, sure. Um, but some of the deeper cuts from, like, Beautiful Oblivion, I think Beautiful Oblivion is actually my favorite album yeah. uh, from them. And I would say, like, I don't want to say too much because I don't know which of these songs we're going to actually end up playing. <laughs> sure. But I'll just say a couple of my favorites. Uh, Without You is one of my favorites. And that's like not necessarily a single or anything like that. Um, the song Beautiful Oblivion is really good. Mm. I'm just saying songs I like. I'm not saying what we're playing. No, that's true. That's true. That's fine. We take your word. Then. That's good. We'll wait and see what's coming. Wait and see yeah. what's coming. Uh, you mentioned, of course, there that you have obviously, I mean, there's an album in the works. I think that's mm -hmm. no secret. You are working on new stuff. What kind of stage are we actually at? Are we kind of done and dusted or still kind of tweaking a few things here and there? Still in like the mixing stage okay, cool. and doing all that stuff and, and final touches and things like that. Everything's written. Right. Um, I'm done writing and that's nice. We are still working out a couple, maybe like we got a couple demos that we might end up putting on a deluxe or something like that. But realistically, it's it's pretty close. It's pretty close. That's great. Yeah, that's um, really exciting. It's I will say this. It's definitely the least done we've ever been with an album uh, before releasing the first single. OK. Yes. Interesting. Uh, we typically will be done done before anything gets. Released. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and I think it's okay for me to say this, uh, we are gonna do kind of a longer single rollout. Okay, sure. So we got some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give people a few little tasters here and there and then yeah. kind of let it build up. No, that's fair enough. That's a good way of doing it, I'm sure. And also, you know, you you kind of said in the past, it's like I, like, I like when bands kind of put out their own sort of genre statements a little bit. Heavy pop is the thing you've been throwing yeah. around for a long time. And yeah, you just say that phrase. It's not a phrase you normally hear go together, but you're like, yeah, that makes perfect sense for you right. guys. It does, does really, really fit. Tell me about the development of that and kind of the discovery of, no, that is the sound we really want to push and kind of go down. Well, I have to say this. I don't think we were the ones who came up with the name. Oh, okay. Heavy pop. Fair enough. Uh, I think somebody else did. I don't remember who, but um, so I can't take credit for that. But I will say this: I was always like, I don't, I don't know if that's what we are. I, I was always a little skeptical of it. Uh, it's like, for, I guess for Slow Bloom, um, if that was, I was like, wouldn't it be poppy rock? But when we started writing things, I showed loud mm. to a couple of my friends, and one of them, who previously also had a, some hesitations about the heavy pop label, right? Um, said oh this is heavy pop. right sure 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 <laughs> and I was like, okay, now we're okay, cooking okay. there now, it is if we weren't heavy pop before at least we are now <laughs> <laughs> absolutely matching that label uh dude i'm gonna let you go and get ready for the show tonight but really nice to see you over here in the uk can't yeah. wait for more new music genuinely best of luck with all the issue stuff as well i'm sure Thank you're gonna you smash much. it dude it's gonna be great but yeah all the best to you till then all right good to see you brian everybody yeah.